<clears throat> Hi Capricorn, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. We'll be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave it does not fit for your situation, okay? So Capricorn, let's get your full moon messages in Gemini. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn spirit. They need to hear and know at this time. Messages for Capricorn. What is going on with them, please? Let's see. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have tree. So this card talks about a karmic connection, past life, deja vu, spiritual beliefs and health, spiritual strength, constant changes, your spiritual or need to be spiritual and nature's energy. So some of y'all could need to get back in nature. Okay, I'm hearing something about phlebotomy. So some of you guys could be a phlebotomist, okay? I don't know why I heard that. Okay. Some of y'all could be having past life dreams. All right, somebody around you could be in a karmic connection. Or I'm getting I'm getting you met somebody at the time when they were karmic, okay? But a past life, a karmic debt needs to be needs to be cleared here. All right, let's see. Getting something about a DNA kit, like a family tree. You're trying to figure out more about your family, your roots, your background. Okay, your bloodline here. All right, yeah, love. Okay, some of you guys could be getting ready to start a family. A new generation is getting ready to come in, come through maybe. <laughs> about to have some kids or something like that. That's what I'm getting. Um, could be a spiritual love, a spiritual partnership coming through with us. Okay, waiting. Yeah, this is this seems like uh this is talking about building a legacy here. Yeah, wedding. Okay. Reunion. Wow. So a past life, um a past life lover here. Somebody that you was married to in a past life. Well, you're getting ready to continue a legacy maybe in this life. All right, let's see, Capricorn. I'm getting a candle lit dinner, or somebody here loves candles. I know I do. Y'all see I haven't burned my 333 candle. That shit been sitting here forever. Uh, yeah, a tree in this card again. Ace of Wands. So a passionate new beginning. Some of you guys could be traveling here. But I'm getting, yeah, there was a lot of self-reflection that has been done. Or, yeah, you, you and somebody mirror each other. Okay, let's see what this is. I feel like this is going to be nice. Yeah, the lovers, two of cups. Gemini energy, somebody could be a Cancer Venus. There's a beautiful connection coming through. What's this tree card? Okay, what's this tree? A lot of y'all could work in healthcare or somebody here. Some of y'all take care of the elderly. Okay, what's this tree? Okay, Eight of Pentacles. So, work here. Self-mastery. Okay, this could be self-mastery or some of y'all could be, uh, you could be getting ready to go camping. Okay, I'm seeing somebody cut some wood off something. I don't know, I just, tree reminded me of that. Um, I'm getting definitely building. So, you're working to, to really build this legacy or something like that is happening here. Yeah, so I'm saying paying attention to detail, building your finances. Let, let's see. Some of y'all could have just gotten a new job. This job could, re could require a lot of outside work here. I don't know if you, you cut grass or you you uh, help uh, your architecture or yeah, architecture, architecture or something like that. Or a landscaper. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say or something. But what's tree with the um, Eight of Pentacles? Some of y'all can cut down. Yeah, Six of Cups. So so I'm getting to what's guiding you here to do this work, this inner work is your, yeah, your Empress. Or this is you. I don't know. Y'all can be saying 444. It's on the timer. So yeah, Six of Cups. So there is work and there is some type of inner child healing that could be going on here. There, there's an energy of working to go back to the past 
definitely past life connection and a past life uh obviously something about your past life coming back something that that needs to be healed that you're working on whatever this is you know very interesting okay what's tree with the six of cups and the eight of pentacles a lot of y'all could be thinking about kids i know some of y'all like well i don't have kids or i don't want kids or I'm, I'm done having kids but this could be for people that really want a family all right what's um tree with the eight of pentacles and the six of cups some of y'all really just building a legacy for your children okay Ugh. okay five of cups so yeah, there's regret and there's sadness. It could be about a past person. I'm definitely getting nostalgia, past life dreams. You thinking about somebody a lot. Somebody's dreaming about you a lot here. There's an energy of mi <laughs> missing you, wanting to reconcile. All right, yeah. This is Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Two of Wands. <clears throat> yeah so two of wands talks about yeah some of you guys could travel for work or you're wanting to travel here so you're working on your finances so that way you can travel yeah this two of wands talks about a partnership so for some of you there's an energy of working something out for a partnership i mean in a partnership or working on a partnership working with somebody at a job maybe some of y'all could really be uh, playing out your childhood dream. Whatever your childhood dream was or whatever you wanted to be when you were younger, it could be coming to life, okay, in real time. Okay, period. But I'm getting, yeah, a lot of planning and strategizing. So somebody here is remembering a past life connection where they are now doing the work and building to really um make something. I feel like somebody's a perfectionist. They pay attention to detail a lot. I feel like they're studying you or watching you or whatever you do for work. But there, there's an energy of with the two of wands, somebody could be traveling towards you or coming in for a partnership. Somebody's really working to build, keep building something here. So you could have been waiting on this person or something, but they had to master something about themselves. Wow. Okay, what's the six of cups? Somebody could be bringing you a gift or somebody is very gifted, whatever they do for work. This is something you were doing in a past life here, Capricorn, or this is your person. What's this six of cups? Okay, the ten of pentacles, child. <laughs> you can have somebody can have a Virgo Mercury. Three of pentacles, six of wands, three of wands. That could be saying three, three, three. Somebody wants to be in something with you long term, so they are working here. They're working for y'all's kids if y'all have children or working for y'all future children there's just the energy of building a legacy starting a family here somebody's prepping themselves to do this because they know this is the one-stop shop <laughs> this is the last 808 on the timer this is the last they're not going nowhere else so yeah inheritance your ancestral bloodline here your 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 legacy is being built with the ten of pentacles or somebody this is what somebody has in mind I'm definitely getting a, a marriage here or engagement or somebody popping the question very, very fast. Okay, I'm not going to say soon, but maybe very fast because there's a strong partnership here. All right. What's, um, what's this five of cups? Yeah, king of pentacles. That's you, Capricorn. Or you could be dealing with another one or something. <clears throat> so with the Five of Cups, yeah, I feel like this person is sad that, that they didn't commit to you or really give you anything. Okay, um, they could be grieving something here as well. For some of you, they're grieving a loss of somebody else. It's like they lost a parent. I don't know why I just said that. Okay, I'm just letting shit fly out my mouth. I, maybe it needs to be said because that spirit telling me to say it or I don't know. But somebody here could have lost a parent, a child. I'm sorry to hear that. Or they lost something. I feel like they lost you too. That could be one reason why they're, they're grieving, they're mourning. They're trying to release those past regrets because I feel like they're trying to come back to fix it now and really, really fix it. But I'm getting a sense of, let me see, what's this King of Pentacles with this Five of Cups? Okay, yeah, two of swords. 
Yeah, I was getting ready to say too, for some of you, this person here was probably in another karmic connection where they were trying to build and now they're turning their back on it. Okay, they could have kids with somebody. They thought they were supposed to build their th this legacy somewhere else. Okay. For I feel like too, this person here could be sad or grieving or whatever, or this is you because uh, they could have been very money focused, not really focused on the connection, just like really trying to build and thinking that maybe, oh, I'm supposed to build this by myself. I'm just getting like a power couple here. All right. Two of swords is, yeah, the stalemate or having to make tough decisions, choose between two paths. And I feel like they chose the wrong one. All right. They chose the wrong path. What's, who's this King of Pentacles? Yeah, five of wands. Yeah, got themselves into some bullshit. There could be fights and shit about money or some type of family dynamic here. I'm just getting a strong um, energy of somebody here passing away. But you're linked to this in some way, Capricorn, because you have past lives with this person, obviously. And this is especially a, I don't know, this is a strong twin flame connection. It's like I have a Libra Saturn, a Libra moon with the two of swords. But yeah, they can have people around that are in competition with them or this is you. Because the king of pentacles is somebody of a high status, a high stature. Okay, somebody that really is on their shit. Their money looks good. Their business is flourishing. So I feel like they chose between you and somebody else and they chose the wrong path and got themselves caught up in some bullshit. And I feel like this is like a competition. This person, you were uh, somebody's competition here, Capricorn. And they chose the loser over you. So what is love here? This could have been an inner battle too. Like, should I focus on this person or should I just like go and work? But I feel like you're the missing piece here. This person needs you for his legacy. Okay, so what's uh, love here? I feel like they had to get their money together too. They really, yeah, six of wands. You know, the other day, 12, 12 on the timer. Okay, strong twin flame numbers. But the other day I put love always wins on my Twitter. So yeah, I'm just getting, you know, there's a big victory coming in in love. Some of y'all have a lot of love options or a lot of people trying to come towards you here that are going to be vulnerable with you. They're going to express their feelings. They're going to be their, their true selves. Okay. I'm seeing, I'm having a vision of somebody like fixing their bow tie or fixing their tie. They're in a suit and they're stepping at your door like they're getting ready to knock on the door and come towards you with some type of gift or something like that. They're like, let me get myself. It's like they're trying to like get their get themselves prepped and ready for something. All right. Some of y'all could be seen in a public eye. Somebody is so they they really admire you here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles again. Ace of Cups. Yeah, and the Page of Pentacles. A legacy is being built with the love of your life. Okay, like I don't know what to say. Okay, what's uh? Love with the Six of Wands. Okay, the Ace of Wands basically came out in reverse. So it's been delayed. Something has been delayed or somebody has been stuck here. I feel like this person has lost interest in these multiple people or people that want their attention or this is you. You don't have any interest in somebody else. Somebody has their eyes set on you. You are the star. You are the prize here. <laughs> somebody is seeing that. Ace of Wands in Reverse. For some of you, there could be fertility issues here. So maybe you need to go to the doctor. Okay, that's for somebody. But I'm just getting there's this loss of interest. Or somebody here is bored. They're tired of seeing all these people or, and it's, they're not you or something like that. Okay, yeah. What's the love card with the Ace of Wands in Reverse and the Six of Wands? Okay, Two of Wands. Y'all could be saying two, two, two. Somebody has an Aries Mars. Aries Venus. So this is plan. Two of Wands again. So planning, strategizing, being at a crossroads. I feel like this is more so plans. Okay, a partnership. Two of, two of Wands is a partnership. Could be in business or it could be in, like I said, a relationship. Travel, anticipation. What's the uh, Six of Wands right here? The tower, Aries energy. 
Three of Wands. A lot of waiting or I don't know. What's the tower? The Judgment and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. So something here has been delayed. It's been taking a while because somebody has been having to do some reassessing, reevaluating their life, their finances, looking at the time and energy that they've really been investing in certain shit. Okay, I feel like Judgment Day is here for you, Capricorn, okay, in this relationship or just you in general if you're not dealing with anybody. All right, there could be a decision that you're making about your finances or this is what somebody else is making, okay? Because honestly, a relationship is an investment, all right? Okay, um, somebody here is trying to invest long-term with wedding, yeah, reunion. Yeah, they see you as the one. Somebody here could be a doctor, okay? But yeah, they see you as the one here. So I feel like this is a long-term investment being made that's going to pay off. Somebody has made the decision here to finally invest, and that's what the tower is, something surprising or shocking or whatever they invested in, in these people or whatever the fuck this was, this attention or whatever. They're looking at it like, hmm, I don't know. Let me reassess. Let me reevaluate. But the seven of pentacles talks about self-evaluation and it talks about hard work paying off. But the judgment, this is good energy. You know, this is an awakening. Somebody learning a karmic lesson here. Yeah. So that looks good. It really does. Yeah, Ten of Swords. It's, so there was a bad ending here. This person has went through something horrible, some type of betrayal, or this is you. Okay, what's the um, Ace of Wands in reverse? Yeah, somebody's... Okay, the Magician. Virgo, Gemini energy. I'm hearing like self-control. What's the Ace of Wands in reverse with the Magician? Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, somebody could be a Libra Saturn. Yeah, so this is healing, standing in your power, standing in your truth, manifestation coming through. Because somebody knows what they want now, so they're losing interest in whatever this is, this passion for other people or this sex or whatever. Somebody just doesn't want, they want something long term. So that's what the investment is, is being made, <clears throat> period. Three of Swords in reverse is reconciliation energy. And it's also getting over the loss of something, letting something go, grieving it, just walking away from it, leaving it where it belongs. <laughs> out of the way so yeah i just you know yeah somebody is fantasizing like like a lot the high priest is here twice with the four cups that's daydreaming fantasizing that's feeling discontent without their person ace of cups yeah somebody's in love with you there's a lot of fertility so i don't know y'all this person is ready to build a family <laughs> so you know um what's the two of wands Okay, the devil. I'm seeing like a picture or a vision of like the devil here on this shoulder and the devil on the, I mean, the angel on the other. Okay. Two of wands. I just feel like this person, okay, the five of wands. What's this two of wands with the devil? The three of pentacles. Yeah, this person has turned their back on somebody. This, there could be a third party here. Just people just around trying to get this person's attention or whatever. I feel like they turn their back. They're planning for their future. They don't give a fuck about this bitch or the next bitch. They're moving on. <laughs> Somebody got have a Capricorn Mars. All right. Yeah, you know, this is the devil talks about temptation, feeling stuck or trapped in fear. It could be addictions. Yeah, so let me see. What's the devil spirit? Please make it clear. What's the devil? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Could be money. This person could be a workaholic. Somebody works a lot. All they've been thinking about is money, money, money. They could have a toxic relationship with money. But I feel like this is more so a fear. Okay, this person, because they know that this contract is coming and this is what they're planning for. A lot of planning. All right, a lot of planning, strategizing, working together. Page of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Devil. Okay, I'm getting to... Somebody could be plotting on your finances or this new beginning, this prosperity that's coming in because somebody's getting some money. Either it's inheritance money or somebody that passed away. Somebody's getting a lot of money and there's fights and shit about it. It could be family fighting about who's going to get what and da 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 You know, but I'm getting to with the page of swords, eight of swords and the devil. This is fear. This person wants to say something to you, but I feel like it's paranoia, it's anxiety, it's fear, it's da 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 Right? But I do feel like... Uh, 
you've turned your back or somebody has turned their back on something toxic involving their finances. Okay, what's the devil with the ace principles? Let's see. Okay, the moon. Yeah, something hidden here. Pisces energy. Somebody could be on the Pisces Aquarius cusp. I mean, Aquarius Pisces cusp. Yeah, some type of illusion. But I feel like it's fear. <laughs> With the moon, the ace of pentacles, the devil, that's that's fear. What's this three of pentacles? They are scared, but I feel like they're moving forward anyway. Yeah, the higher fit. Yeah, higher level of commitment, I'm telling you. Somebody, this, there could be some people too that's going to jail. There's three or more people going to jail here. Yeah, y'all could be saying three, three, three. Because somebody has taken their power back from a situation. And they could be going to jail about money, a big ass lump sum of money too. I'm hearing like money laundering or stealing. Yeah, definitely theft. Somebody stole a lot of fucking money. But could be dealing with the Taurus with the Hierophant. So, yeah. Um, I'm just seeing an energy of long term. Something long term coming in. Could be a commitment or a contract coming through with the Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant. If you're going through a court situation, yeah, you're signing papers, you're locking yourself into a contract Contract where maybe, I don't know, you're uh, doing a um, stay away order or something like that where y'all have to sign papers or you have to sign something, I don't know. But I'm getting this is having faith. So somebody's faith is being tested here. Yeah, this is the spirit and this is the devil. So are you going to let your ego get in the way or are you going to keep pushing? Yeah, so what's waiting? Yeah, this is waiting. Some of you, you guys are winning a court situation, which is definitely going to bring you and this person together. What's waiting? Okay, two of pentacles in reverse. Somebody could have a Capricorn Jupiter. So this is disorganization. This is like being all over the place here. Poor financial decision. That has been made for some of you there's something going on in court with your finances or this is this person but what's this waiting with the two of pentacles in reverse okay four of wands in reverse yeah something about a house a family for some of you guys you're waiting for this divorce to be finalized if it's a divorce this could be a community of people here that you're waiting to move away from or it's like something that you have to wait wait for that you're going to get a victory in Okay, it's been delayed or stuck or taken forever. <clears throat> Four of Wands is um, moving, uprooting. Some of y'all could be moving out of a home here. For some of you, there's people getting put out of a home, like evicted, or this is you taking a home back from somebody. That's, this was an inherited home. You're getting it back or it's yours. What's the waiting with the Two of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse? Definitely a dysfunctional family dynamic. Yeah, the full Aquarius, strong Aquarius. I've just been getting Aquarius. Or you're, being, you're on a cusp, Capricorn. But so this is breaking free. This is freedom. This is a new beginning, taking a risk here. Yeah, I feel like you're calling something off or you're breaking up with somebody or something like that. Because I, I feel like you really realize that you don't fit in with these family members anymore. They're not. Or these people in your community, you don't fuck with them. So you're walking away. And you're taking a risk and doing something different. Doing something way out of your comfort zone. But it feels better than this shit is what I'm getting. <laughs> What's the two of pentacles in reverse? Okay, yeah, ten of wands. Somebody can have a Sagittarius Saturn. So yeah, a lot of you guys could be moving. Where you're going to be gaining more balance. But I feel like it's, it's people here. That you're leaving behind that's going to be burdened here. Capricorn, they're going to be burdened. They're going to be weighed down. They're going to be struggling. I feel like where you were overextending yourself, you're tired. You're not extending yourself anymore. You're walking away. You're packing your shit and you're leaving. Okay, somebody did something fucked up with their finances. And this is what the problem is right here. This is what somebody has to wait on. It's been delayed. What's the four of wands in reverse? Yeah, somebody's a thief. <laughs> They a thief. 24, 24 on the timer. Seven of swords. Somebody's a thief. Somebody in your family or somebody you were married to or something like that. Some of y'all have a plan or a strategy to move. It's going to put somebody else in uh, imbalance. Somebody's going to be, somebody else is going to be imbalanced. But I feel like it's, this person needs to take care of their fucking self. I'm getting the energy of you were taking care of somebody. That's where all your money was going or something like that. What's the seven of swords? 
Yeah, <laughs> two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody, child, two of pentacles upright. Then we have it in reverse here. So whoever this is in this two of pentacles juggling, broke as fuck. They don't have shit going on. They're going to be in the two of pentacles in reverse when you walk away. Because you're not overextending yourself anymore. You're moving on. They're a burden. Somebody is going to be burdened by the fact that you're leaving. And I feel like you have a strategy or a plan to do so. <laughs> you know, yeah. Seven of Cups, Five of Swords, Ten of Cups. Definitely could be somebody in your family or somebody you have children with. Just period. Yeah. Somebody's a liar, a thief, a loser. What's this fool? Yeah, Seven of Swords again. Somebody can have an Aquarius moon. Yeah, your strategy here is working. What's this Seven of Swords with the Fool? The Seven of Wands. <laughs> Y'all could be saying Seven, Seven, Seven. So yeah, this is you standing up for what you believe, standing up for what you're believing in and having the courage to defend yourself. Some of you guys are blocking somebody here that's sneaky. They're conniving. They're a loser. They're just a loser. What's this? What's the Seven of Wands right here, Spirit? What is this? What are you blocking? Or, yeah, somebody in your family? Like, I, I don't know. Pisces, Mars is here. Yeah, anything that's going to ruin your peace and your joy, your happiness, or get in the way of what you're trying to build with your person, it's a no. You're turning it down. Yeah, somebody could be going to jail about a lot of money. Somebody in your family. I'm just getting somebody going to jail. Somebody getting news here. They've been trying to delay this shit forever. What's the Seven of Swords right here with this fool? <clears throat> okay, yeah, Nine of Swords. Yeah, Page of Cups, Three of Cups. Yeah, it's a lot going on here, but somebody's pushing through it. They're really trying to keep themselves grounded. Okay, so they can kind of like um keep moving. Somebody could be on the run as well. Somebody could be on the run here. Because they're nervous about getting caught. They're going to get caught anyway, whoever the fuck this is. But if this is you, Capricorn, or your person, I feel like there's a leap of faith being taken. It's being strategized, planned out. Definitely somebody is very strategic, whoever the fuck this is. <laughs> they are very strategic. Okay, I feel like they're nervous. There's, there's nervousness here, but they're doing it anyway. So, all right. Very nice. Yeah. A lot of y'all are blocking our family members. They ain't no fucking good. Bye, bitch. Even ass. What else for Capricorn? Full moon and Gemini messages. So we have opportunity and change. Yeah, there's an opportunity being presented to you to change your situation. And you you got it. You're doing it. Okay. Transformation. Harmony res and resolution. And earth and ground. Yeah, didn't I say somebody was grounding themselves? Bottom of the deck is ease and grace. Period. Mm -hmm. Intuition and downloads. So somebody listening to their intuition. Following what their intuition is telling them. Yeah. Yep. They're doing it with ease and grace. <laughs> Somebody's plan is like, yeah, bitch. Bye. I'm out of here. I, f I see somebody skipping down the street <laughs> or skipping out. Like, it's like somebody's not giving a fuck. I feel like somebody, too, is keeping their mouth quiet about their finances because somebody could be getting money and they're keeping their mouth quiet. People are trying to, I don't know. People greedy as fuck. I know that. What else for a Capricorn spirit for this full moon? So bottom of the deck, we have own your power. Fix the external by changing the internal. Own your power. Who just said that? Libra. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have escape materialism. Thank you, spirit. Shift your focus away from material and develop a healthy inner world. Yeah, I feel like somebody is, is figuring out how to really manifest money because it's not for you to keep focus, 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 focus. You got to self, you got to practice self care, and you have to like change your environment too. It's like a lot of shit needs to be done in order for this person to get money. <clears throat> I feel like somebody's a hard worker, but they really don't know how to manifest it the right way. Money is energy. Okay, the greed and the bullshit is not gonna work. This person could have been very materialistic at first. So we have hydrate. Drinking lots of water will make a huge difference in the way you feel. Get a reading. Use divination to understand your desires and paths. Okay. 
set relationship goals, recognize what makes you happy and strive to find that in your love life. Yeah, bad habits, change a bad habit, kill a bad habit, drinking, overeating or anything else not serving you. <clears throat> love your work. Ask yourself today if what you're doing is truly making you happy and clear your energy. Refuel your energy and reclaim your power. Yeah, we have Awaken the Witch. Awaken your dormant potential and unlock your inner witch. Then we have Get Unstuck. Get past your fear of change and embrace the transformation. Yeah, somebody here could be awakening to the fact that they are a healer. <laughs> Basically, that's really what a witch is. I mean, uh, <clears throat> people have their own definitions of it, but usually it's toxic and that's not true. Somebody here could have been dealing with a witch here, a dark witch or something like that. That had them stuck in this material, this materialistic lifestyle, whatever the fuck, this family or whatever. Because it seemed like they're the greedy ones. <laughs> they're, they're greedy. I mean, using this person for their finances, it looks like it. Yeah, because they don't know how to take care of themselves or manage without this person. It looks like it with this two of pentacles in reverse. <laughs> they really think they're getting away with something, these people. <clears throat> People crazy. The Capricorn, let's see. Artemis. Bottom of the deck is IX Shell. Okay, let's see, Artemis 27. So it says, keyword, direction. Symbols are bow and arrow, waxing moon, hunting dogs, and bears. So your affirmation is, I confidently choose my direction in life. So it says, meet the goddess. Artemis is the Greek goddess of the hunt, excuse me, the wilderness and fertility. She is a rebel refusing gender roles and won't be put in a box. Excuse me. She wants to be free and hunt with the moon. Many of her attributes are contradictions. This reflects the complex nature of life and is a reminder that we can be more than one thing. Yeah. She is a fierce protector of nature and the creatures within, especially baby animals. Her sacred tool is the bow and arrow, which is a pre precision tool. Yeah. Somebody is very precise, very on target, very like, because somebody got Virgo in their chart. It requires laser focus, a sharp aim, and the ability to let go at the right moment, knowing that once the arrow is released, it will reach its target. Yeah. So divination meaning. Artemis has arrived in your reading today to ask to ask if you're healed, I mean, headed in the right direction. Answer honestly. If you are not living your life authentically, you can start right now by embracing the power of the huntress. Shed the expectations of others and stand strong in your confidence and power. If you're stuck in a rut, this is also a sign to get moving and do what needs to be done. Bust down those walls by bringing Artemis into your magical or spiritual daily work. Her energy is the magical boost to the mundane work that you do. She's the divine ally to help you reach your goals and reminder that there is more than one path through the forest to get to them. Choose your target and pursue it with laser focus. Okay. So it says work with Artemis. Get rid of the distractions of technology until you have completed the work you have been putting off. Hike in nature and reconnect with the wild places and try archery. There is no better way to embrace the Artemis than that. So it says for your shadow meaning, stop looking backwards. You are not going that way. While backward is technically a direction, the further you allow yourself to go, the more work you'll need to do to make positive progress again. Are you going that way because you fear your path in front of you? Choose to move forward knowing that you can always change your mind as new information is presented. Take those first steps. You'll feel more empowered when you do. Yeah, I feel like this is what somebody's working through. That shadow side of themselves, they're working through it. Because, I mean, two of swords is like, I mean, two of wands is like planning and strategizing and anticipating. But it could talk about two paths, being at a crossroads, not knowing which way to go, you know. So I feel like somebody's working through that shit, which is good. So it says, heal with Artemis. Write down the fears you have about the future and identify what is blocking your progress forward. Give yourself small daily challenges to get out of your comfort zone, like ordering a new type of coffee or walking a different way to work and visualize yourself in the future that you want to create. Don't worry how you will get there. Start with the goal and allow the road to unfold for you. Yeah, beautiful advice. I like, I really like that book. <laughs> I do. I like that, um, that, um, this deck. 
a lot. So let's see for Capricorn Spirit. Let's see. So bottom of the deck, we have aloneness. <clears throat> you are encouraged to experience the warmth of your own company and the peace from loving who you are. When you do, loneliness will cease to exist. Okay. Then we have ascension sickness. Yeah, Libra just had that. You could be dealing with the Libra. But it says, what you are experiencing is a physical manifestation of your soul's journey to higher consciousness. All right, mental clutter. Be careful of spending too much time in your headspace, which leaves little room for real clarity to present itself. Old patterns. One cannot evolve if choices around old, comfortable, but destructive habits remain. It's time to, to evaluate those, those choices. Find your truth. Perhaps you have been misguided by falsehoods. Now is the time to shine a light on what speaks to your heart and soul. Yeah. Lightworker. You are a powerful being on earth capable of shining a healing light on humanity. Yep, a lot of you guys are lightworkers. Yeah, rediscovery. Peel back the layers of a person or situation to discover what you may not have originally known. Okay. Your authentic voice. Remove any blocks within your throat chakra so you can express yourself openly and honestly. And soul connection. You are connected with someone who will play a significant role in your soul's evolution. Whether short or long term, this person is important to your journey. Okay, period. Yep. Beautiful. Yep, you do. You're a light worker. Your person is... Or you're some kind of star seed, but somebody specifically may be a light worker. Um, let's see, what else? Let's pull from the manifestation, I mean, Moonology Manifestation Oracle deck. For Cappies. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is, uh, well, not bottom of the deck, but it says, <laughs> first quarter moon in Capricorn, unleash your kindest self. New moon in Sagittarius, focus on the positive. Full moon in Aquarius, be real. Full moon in Virgo, take inspired action. Yeah, I told you somebody got Virgo in their chart. Aquarius heavy, Sagittarius, Capricorn, maybe another Capricorn, or this is you, right? It says, first quarter moon in Virgo, assess the situation. Yeah. <laughs> Then we have full moon in Taurus, detoxify. Bottom of the deck is last quarter moon in Scorpio, reveal what needs to be seen. Yep, attend to the details. Again, last quarter moon in Virgo, so a lot of Virgo. A lot of Virgo, definitely maybe watch Virgo's reading, okay? Maybe Libra too, Aquarius, all of them. <laughs> all right, but this was your reading, Capricorn, okay? I... Hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you guys will get all of my readings for when I post and you won't miss anything. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.